Hey everyone, this is Josh Hayes, and today I want to talk about the Zygu X6100 radio review in 2023. Okay, when I bought this radio, I bought it with this flash sale bundle right here that you see right here. It comes with the radio, the speaker, and the original L4001 cable for the amplifier. Okay, y'all, this radio right here, I have this radio, I bought this radio. It's a, uh, in my opinion, it's, an, it's a really nice radio, and I think it will probably just, you know, get better and better because there's, it's an SDR radio, software defined radio, as you can see right here. And not only that, but this radio can get more and more updates as well. It's $599. Did I start with this radio? No, I didn't. I started with the Zygu G90 20 watts. And then I moved to the Yaesu FT450D, which I do not have anymore. That's 100 watts. And now I have the 5 watts radio as well. So I have my Zygu G90 radio and my Zygu X6100 radio 5 watts. So basically, it's kind of like I have mainly QRP radios, 20 watts and 5 watts. But I'm able to talk pretty decently with my radios, y'all. This right here says, what's new from X5105 to X6100? Analog, number one, analog SDR radio, software defined radio, SDR system, uses software for the modulation and demodulation of radio signals. Processing via computer or other digital devices with software, the X6100 can provide you more info in real time, complete complex operations, and process data faster. Number two, 5 watt upgrade to 10 watt high power. Basically, you could even use a battery power like a uh, a battery pack that hooks up to the power supply with well, the power on this radio and you could use the full 10 watts that way or you could plug it into your power supply number three it has a 3.6 inch LCD screen 4 inch color screen it's a really nice screen y'all it's bigger than the G90 screen number four wireless operation Bluetooth Wi-Fi USB host mouse keyboard operation in addition to traditional connecting ports to connect with extended devices the Zygu X6100 also supports modern connection methods like mouse and keyboard control via, excuse me, via Bluetooth, which is really nice. Number five, voice call, preset message, digital noise reduction, data modem, SWR scanner. Number six, built-in high stability TCXO internal clock source. That's nice. Okay. Um, it has a built-in battery, which is nice, really nice for portable QRP 5 watts operation. You know, operating your radio with QRP. I mean, ATU, automatic antenna tuner, has its built-in microphone. The microphone's underneath this knob right somewhere around there. Uh, it also has that microphone as well, which is pretty neat. SWR scanner, it actually scans to check your SWR. By the way, y'all, if your SWR scanner if you're trying to scan in your antenna and it's like at four, all the way at four, do not try to tune your radio. It will shut your radio off and you'll have to plug it into your shore power, power supply for it to tune it back up. I mean, excuse me, for it to turn back on. Um, voice call, that's really neat. Preset message, that's really neat as well. Um, digital noise reduction is really good on this radio. Data modem. It's super neat on this radio. It has its own data modem. IQ signal output. It has IQ signal output as well. Uh, it's just a really nice, really nice radio. And it also includes, as you see right here, 50 megahertz, which is six meters, full mode, supporting data communication. It's a good radio for data commu communication, excuse me. And it, with only five to ten watts, like a five watt radio or a you know ten watt radio, you can communicate with digital modes far distances. By the way, it's a really nice radio, y'all. Four inch high resolution color screen, eight hundred and four eighty, built in three thousand milliamp rechargeable lithium battery, built in automatic antenna tuner, integrated SWR scanner and voice call, integrated modem, preset message, CW automatic call built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi function which is super cool enable wireless audio slash keyboard slash mouse operation integrated USB control slash transmission supports USB host 
built-in high stability TCXO internal clock source. That right there is interesting. I'm not sure what that is, but it's interesting. The internal clock source part. And I tried to connect my uh, keyboard uh, to it, but I haven't been able to. I think it connected, but I it has a little glitches where it's not. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's not really letting me type on there. That or I have the keyboard set wrong. That's possible that I have my keyboard and mouse set wrong. Uh, anyways, y'all, this radio is just a really nice radio. I like how small it is. I made like a few hundred mile, I think it was a few hundred miles or 150 something mile contact today and uh, with only 5 watts and my 20 meter dipole antenna. I think I was 5'5", five five, which is really good. 5'5 five five is really good and uh, he was, that gentleman was 5'9", but to be 5'5", five five, over 100 miles with only 5 watts, I think that's really impressive. It was on 20 meters. But that was with this radio. I think I talked to uh, Russia with only 5 watts with this radio. And I think maybe Germany with 10 watts, possibly. But uh, I think Russia is further away than Germany. So that's pretty impressive with only 5 watts, y'all. And my 20 meter dipole antenna. This radio is a really nice radio. Anyways, y'all, this is my review of 2023 review of the Zygu X6100 radio. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you, 73. God bless you.